This is, so this, this is for this is for cultures and environments, and we're at the pyramids. And Dr. David Fife is going to tell us a cool fact about that. A cool fact about us being here is that cultures and this is what cultures and environment field series is all about: is experiential learning. People being here, experiencing. When else can you be at the Great Pyramids? I don't have any other facts other than that. This is just awesome. <laughs> Well, we went to Egypt uh, for 17 days, and there were two separate groups, and both of us represent each of the groups. I'm from the alumni group, and... I'm from the student group. Yes. Um, and it was an amazing experience. I mean, it was probably the best almost three weeks of my life. One of the biggest culture shocks that I've ever experienced, too. Being as then, I've never been out of the country, and that was my first experience out of the country, just going off the group and it was just so amazing. Well, Egypt was actually the number one place to go on my list. I'm a big person to say um, that traveling is the best education you could get and it truly is. I mean just everything that we learned from this trip culture-wise is amazing. So uh, I mean coincidentally that I heard from another professor here that uh, um, the trip was going to be to Egypt so I just got my heart set on it and I was like I have to go on this trip. I mean just the pyramids is what everyone thinks of when they think of Egypt, so I guess that's what kind of attracts me. You know, it's one of the wonders of the world, but there's so much more to it than the pyramids. The sunrise on Mount Sinai and how epic that was. The way we got up there, traveled three out or three hours about hiking up of it in like 1.30 in the morning when we got up and just to see the sunrise. And that was pretty that was an amazing experience. So it was a five mile hike up <laughs> up the rocks. It was it was definitely a physical challenge, but by the time we all got up there and kinda of huddled together. It was a little chilly up there. It was definitely worth it. But my answer is a little more general. It's just the cultural experience as a whole. I mean, just getting to pick up the language a little bit, you know, even learning how to hail a cab um, and getting the best price for that, haggling in the markets, um, no bathrooms. I don't know Faluka, no. No, I didn't mind because I've gone camping and things like that, so um, it wasn't that big of a deal to me. But some people were really not happy about it. And Where do I go? Sick and... too, so. Oh yeah, some people did get I got really sick. sick. I was one of those people. On the last night of the Faluka, I got really sick, and there was nowhere to go, like no bathrooms. Just go out on the island where we stayed, where we camped out for the night, and it was just a struggle trying to find a good, good spot in that area. So. <laughs> <laughs> Behind a bush or something, you know. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. All right, yeah. You can't exactly haggle there. <laughs> we're all joking when we come back, we're gonna go into McDonald's or something and be like, I'm not paying five dollars for this, I'll give you three dollars for it. Well, I mean, you actually went to Sheets and tried to give <laughs> the cashier uh, ten pounds, ten Egyptian pounds, and she, she just didn't think it was goes, funny. She just no. looked at me and said, five dollars, please, or whatever. <laughs> but uh, I really liked it, I really liked haggling. I mean, at first, you have to be you have to be confident about it. And at first I was kind of like, oh, Ryan, I'll give you this much, but you'd have to start at a third of the price. And then they'll be like, no, 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 you know, or la, 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 la. You were the most persistent one out of that because you would always get a good deal. Mm hmm Yeah, I mean, I, I did get some pretty good deals. Um, you just have to be really strong about it. And it's that's such a great experience because it's a game to them. It's not just them trying to get the best deal. I mean, they know you're going to haggle. I'm sure there are people that come through though and are just like, okay, I'll give you four times what it's worth because that's how much they try to charge you, but you get, really have to just be dedicated and you feel good once you get it. You're, they're like, okay, and you're like, yes, <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs>
What's going on? What's up, guys? Video What are we drinking? What are we drinking? Water. One thing about the cab drivers there is that they, um, if you're not smart, they'll just keep circling around and then charge you for it. And a lot of them don't have a meter, so you have to make sure you set the price right beforehand. Um, but if they do have the meter on, it's actually more expensive. So you try to get one that doesn't have a meter, and then you'll say. Can you take me to Kala Kalili, which is the market there in Cairo? It's, it's world famous. And um, I'll say, can you take me there for 10 pounds? And usually they're like, no. You know, 25 pounds or something. So then you might get to like 12 or 15 or something like that. But you have to say, just take me there. Just take me right to the market. And so, you know, you have to kind of put your foot down. Like, don't, <laughs> don't dilly-dally here. The time where we were on the Feluca, and it was the last night there, and we were just camping out. We had a bonfire. Everybody was outside. I was still sick at the time, but I went out there to experience that. And they didn't, the, the Nubians, was that the Nubians? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When they set up the bonfire and everything and they had their musical instruments out playing for us and everything, they were just so happy to be there. And they needed nothing, no technology, nothing. Just gathering around, fellowship with everyone. And the culture shock between both of our worlds just hit right there when we were both all around gathering around this fire, having a great time.